So before we look at your household's regular spending and your household's annual spending, etc., we want to have a better idea of what your household looks like. Okay. So this section is to determine how many adults are in your household, how many children, pets, vehicles, etc. But we're also looking for some more specifics because if we get more specifics, we can give you better recommendations. So as we answer the questions, it asks you, for example, how many adults are in your household? So you give the first and the last name, and then we ask you for your birth date and what your gender is, male or female. And the reason, again, that we ask for that is because we want to give you recommendations later on down the road when that birthday comes up with some you know, popular items for, for birthday gifts um, for a person that is it, part of that demographic. The same thing is true for children. If you have any children, we, we ask you how many. You get to put in their birth dates and their gender. Same thing for pets, but we don't ask for their birth date or gender. Um, and then um, we ask for information about your vehicle. What's the make of your vehicle, the model, et cetera, because we can give you really valuable information. Another cool part about this is if you get really granular and you give us really good specific details, mm -hmm. um, not only will that help us to give you some great recommendations down the line so that this is more powerful than just information, um, but this will also automatically populate in the annual spending section of the assessment so that when we ask you for the general events that are going on in each quarter, it will also ask you for specific events that are coming up in your life. Wow, I love that. Great, so go ahead and let's start entering in your um, specifics for your household. Okay.